Hey, what's up YouTube? Today we're gonna go ahead and get this engine closed up and get ready to send out. Stick around. First thing we want to toss in real quick um, are the uh, knock sensors. Uh, the knock sensors uh, are pretty pretty straightforward here. You have one here for uh, for bank one and one for bank two, and they pretty much go just right down the middle here. There's a metal bracket that. Uh, We got the knock sensors in. We want to uh, put our cooler crossover piping in. Put a little lube on that before you stick it in. It's a little easier to get to. We'll, uh, we'll put these bolts all in. Uh, put all these three of these bolts in a little bit loose. All right, so now we can see, you can see your uh, your coolant pipe, and these are the, the this this is the harness for the uh, knock sensors, and this is our uh, back coolant piping. So there is there are uh, two O-ring fitments on this. Of course, it's that main pipe there that goes into this. I'll lube that O-ring and I lube this pretty good too, and then on the end here. Uh, where the coolant coolant hard lines run around the uh, <clears throat> when they run around the uh, driver's side of the vehicle, uh, we'll put a little lube in this one too. And we'll get it lined up. And the way this will work, you have your four nuts here. Pretty much get these started. You get these nuts started a little bit here, and you kind of like work it, kind of work it in with these nuts and like pull itself together. I don't really tighten the shit out of these. It's got a, it just has your two hard gaskets underneath those flanges. Just kind of use your judgment, you know. At this point in this build, you should already have a good idea what's too tight. And you have your little knock sensor bracket here. Uh, this this uh, harness for this uh, knock sensor goes over the top of this coolant pipe and it kind of sits on the right side of this little nipple here between that and this uh, V-Valve motor here. Tighten these up. Let's do bolts. Clip this on. And that's 
it. Yeah. All right, next, we're gonna install our, uh, <clears throat> our other coolant hard line here. You see it comes with a little gasket. hose on this part right here so it makes it a little easier just wiggle it and it's popped in place All right, the next part is the uh, lower plenum, or uh, as manual calls an intake manifold. Uh, we've cleaned all of our uh, gasket surfaces really well, O-ring surface on the top, and uh, even inside these, uh, all these injector holes, you want to clean the shit out of these because they get gunk and dirt trapped down in there that just falls in over time. So clean all six of those holes really well, that way you don't destroy O-rings and have a a leaking O-ring. So there's uh, dowel pins. Uh, this part with the, the three bolt holes goes towards the front and the part with two uh, goes towards the back. Swing this in place here. Uh, these bolts will use a little bit of engine oil on the threads. Make sure you start them all by hand. Don't try to don't try to get greedy and run. Start them all with a drill bit or a, a drill. Ended up damaging your uh, threads and your plenum. All right, now that we got them all started, we can run them in by hand here. We'll start in the middle. like you would with a head or valve cover or anything like that. My torque spec on these calls for uh, 19 foot pounds. So what we'll do we'll go we'll go 10. We'll go 10 to 19. Same thing, start from the inside, work your way out. So 19. Alright, now we'll get set up and start doing these valve covers. Mm -hmm. 